if things get worse, mm -hmm. when do you need to come back or go to the emergency room? If you're having trouble swallowing or breathing. <sighs> <laughs> we have to wear masks. Could be something lurking. No. Hello. Well, tell me the story. Before I went to bed, like, I was getting really itchy on my skin, and there's like this rib cut just showing up all over my arm and stuff. Oh, I see that. So, yeah. so this was brand new, started last night. Yeah. And it's Never itchy. Never had it before as well. Okay. And have you been sick at all the last no. few days? No. Yeah, I can see it's itchy. Oh, uh, yeah, a little. Slightly raised. Itchy, you got it's it all. It's way better now. It was is it getting a, better? Yeah, it was a lot worse earlier. Yeah, it is slightly raised. People are who are watching might be wondering, ooh, he's touching that rash. This is not contagious. The way you know an allergic rash is it has these irregular kind of margins. It's slightly mm -hmm. raised and it's itchy. That definition is we call it hives. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and it can start off real red. And you can mm -hmm. almost see the center of this one looking a little blue. Mm -hmm. Uh, as these, and the other thing about hives is these patches can come and go. Mm -hmm. And as they go, they almost leave this slight bluish look. You can almost get a sense some of this is bluish. But it, it'll, it'll fade away. Do you have it on your tummy as well? No, my stomach is fine. Mm -hmm. A little bit, but not bad. bad. It's mostly on my back okay. and my leg. You got it on your legs too? Oh yeah, your back's definitely, there's a patch, look at that. So that is a classic, you kind of got it irregular. It's slightly raised, I can feel it as I run my finger across the edges. And there's another patch there. Do you want to turn all the way around for me? Can you stand up a minute? There we go, we won't pull your pants down just to there. But you can feel that edge. That's, that is raised. Let's see, how much can you show us your legs? Well, there you uh, see it. Yeah, I got wow. it. that looks itchy. Yeah, not really, not I can't too bad. Really feel anything. Yeah. It looks like a map like geography, like that could be Iceland or something. If it was due to something you ate, that's already going through your system and that would explain why it's starting to get better already. Are you taking any medicines? Uh, no, I'm not. Nothing whatsoever. Did you take any pills of any kind yesterday? Uh, yeah, like after I started, I took Zyrtec. Okay, just I after. I took like a couple of vitamin just... pills. Okay, so Zyrtec might have helped it as well, by the yeah. way. So to run through the most common three things causing allergies, Mm -hmm. uh, number one is an illness, usually a viral illness. Mm -hmm. It's probably not a virus with no other symptoms. Highly unlikely. The question was, could it be soap or detergent? Contact dermatitis is you think of more as like po poison oak, poison ivy. You've been outside and just the, the arms and legs, like if you were in shorts and a short sleeve shirt, you'd get the rash on your arms and legs that were exposed to the plant that you're allergic to. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have any rash where you were covered with your pants for example, yeah. but that's not the case. And this is just sort of everywhere. Suggest that it's coming from within, right? Some, uh, something allergic is happening inside your body. Either it's an infection or something you ate. Mm -hmm. So I'm still thinking towards the foods. You gotta go through that list. Yeah, those, those would be the most common. Different nuts and seafood are usually near the top. Some people are allergic to dairy and, and gluten, but rarely does it come as hives. If things get worse, mm -hmm. when do you need to come back or go to the emergency room? If you're having trouble swallowing or breathing, those would be the two. So if you're swelling up in your airway here, you, you're having trouble with either swallowing or breathing, or you're wheezing severely. Wheeze will sound like, to, to, if you just, with a stethoscope, I hear wheezing as a squeaky okay. noise, but to you, just watching yourself, it's a big inhale, squeaky exhale, right? The Zyrtec seems to work for you. There's Zyrtec, Allegra, or Claritin, you can take the adult dose. Uh, those are all once a day. And then you have Benadryl as your backup. So if, if what you're doing is still not enough, Benadryl short acting, it's a very good one. And you could take, at your age and size, you could take 50 milligrams of Benadryl, which is, they're 25 milligram ca little capsules. Oh. You could take two of them if you're in a crisis. All right. And then obviously get to the emergency room or if we're open, you can come here if he's having trouble breathing or swallowing, but he won't. Uh, I just want you to know what to look for. You're not contagious, but mm -hmm. when you exercise vigorously while you're having hives, they're gonna get worse. Okay. Because you're causing a lot more blood flow and heat and, right. and hives. Like if you have a hot shower, your hives just go crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. My guess is if you play basketball intensely, you're gonna make this a lot worse. Okay. I right. probably would so not play today. Okay. Uh, 
that just would be like risky uh -huh. for things getting worse and maybe developing trouble breathing. If you're not getting well, uh, come back, we'll order blood tests, we can do a blood panel for an IgE and they, they will probably identify, well maybe, hopefully, identify what caused it. You guys, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.